campus of the University of Colorado. Folsom Field is the setting for today's great matchup. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The, the kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. And the fullback comes up with a nice run. This is just strength on strength right here. They give it to the fullback, and he powers his way for some good yardage and another first down. He's tackled at the 38. Gives it to the back. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. to the running back, no good. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Scott awaits the snap. The Buffaloes having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coach in the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. He makes his way to about the 48. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Complete, brought down, nothing to it. From the 48-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Fires it quickly. And down he goes around the 18-yard line. I think this defense right now doesn't realize that it's going to be a run or a pass, and that's the perfect time to be able to call play action. This defense is on its heels. They're guessing with the offense. That time they guess wrong, and the result is a big play for the offense. Makes it out to about the 17 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 17. He gets out to about the 15 yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That makes it third. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. 
They'll line it up for the field goal. Colorado could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. He's on the run. He'll take it himself. Tackle made at the 43. Positive yardage. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 36 yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackled after decent pickup. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And now he pitches it. That's a great tackle. The seven-yard line. He makes it to the six-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Throws incomplete, broken up. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Air Force is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He lets it fly. 
And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. He scrambles there for about eight yards. Larry, Larry, Larry. Too little, Cupcake. Nice run up the middle. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Here's a running play. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. And he's taken down at the four-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the two-yard line. Nixon gains two yards with a short completion. It's second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, start offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. This is the 10th play of this drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He gets sacked on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Colorado is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They get nice yardage on that run. Three, maybe four yards there on the option to the fullback. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Buffaloes lead 6-3. Okay. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Waters 
Bush was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Stanley fields it at the 35. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado has a three-point lead. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 45. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Green pass. He's got his half back. Excellent open field tackle. First and ten. Ball on the 41. He makes his way to about the 28. He makes his way to about the 18. From the 18-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Touchdown, Buffaloes! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 13-3. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled at the 23. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. With a quick throw. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Fires it 
fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 25. Number 52 makes the tackle at the 25 yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 20. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. Run there. That'll make it second and seven. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it third and one. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Call it a game of two yards. Right left, right left. That makes, makes it first, first and goal. Down, down. 30, the right? Touchdown, Air Force! That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Two points may not seem like much, but I guarantee you the coaches are furious right now. You'd never want to commit that kind of mental error that leads to a safety. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 46. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. They bring him down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. 31's the right. You seven. Slings it out there incomplete. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Scott is waiting for the snap. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Colorado's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star type game right now, and yet they got the lead here and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates, this receiver, stepped up. It so it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Colorado is up one. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. 
Makes it out to about the 36. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Little handoff brought down at about the 37 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Throws it in a hurry. And he's level at the 47-yard line. Fires quick. He catches another. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. is the eighth play of this drive. Colorado, up a point. Steps out of bounds, right around the 26-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws <laughs> complete, big loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Throws middle, here's the tight end, touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 82-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Scrambling around. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Stanley, waiting the return. Tackle made at the 30.
They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That'll be a gain of five. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, we played a half of football. The Buffaloes in front by eight. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back the to the action here. Just about off. set for the second half. I'm sorry, sorry back to return. return. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Colorado up by eight. Zips it to the tight end. Tackled around the 44-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 44. He chucks it downfield. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Just tipped away. Brad, I thought the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught. The receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. He goes out of bounds at about the 45. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And this one is a beauty. This punch bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. He's out to the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 39. With the run. That's good for 18 yards. First down. First down. 31's the mic. Kill, 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 kill. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. That's good for 18 yards. That 
that makes it second and two. Down. First and ten. ten. Now he tries to buy some time. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's tackled at the 38. That makes it second and two. Down in the open field. Wells makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Makes it to the 21. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game of four on the play. First down. Roger, Roger. 31's the mic. On your job. Get up. Get up. Get up. Watch the safety creep. Get up. Get up. Get up. He gets out to about the 15 yard line. Makes it to the 15 yard line. End zone. He can't hang on. Incomplete. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Across the 30. The 50. He finally goes down at the 47-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. They're set to go for another round. Let's it fly. It's broken up. Alert Reed on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 18. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. Kinney awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. They'll 
drop in for a loss. Caught and he's hit immediately. Scott is the punter. Stanley takes it at the 23. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. He's hit and got away. Tackle made at the 47. From the 47-yard line, first down. There he goes, and he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Runs outside for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. the sophomore that's got it. Nice play to set up first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackled after positive yardage. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Fellas, a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. And he tacks on the extra point. Colorado gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Brought down at about the 35. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Just like that. Makes it to the 44. Makes the tackle. That's a gain of nine on the play. There you are. That brings up second and one. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it first and ten. Let's go. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of ten yards. 
That brings up second and one. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. The middle for a nice game. Gaining four on the play. First down. Defense and their short yardage package. Now he's flushed and they got it. That'll bring up second and fifteen. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And they make the stop at the 44. So at the end of three, Colorado leads it 27-15. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Fourth down and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. quickly and it's almost intercepted when the first down marker is that far away someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down it just didn't happen for him here both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Complete and taken down immediately. That'll make it second and four. Roger, Roger. Watch 40, watch 40. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Pass, 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 pass. Passes and it's almost picked off. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They'll run it. He's gobbled up in the backfield.
makes it to the 28-yard line. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings him second in five. Tackle at the 40. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Falcons. And they're looking to get two points here. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. And he's in for two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Colorado is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball in the 29. Gets out to about the 31. Nice run there as they work the outside. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 37. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Go down, go down. Go down, go down. Go down, go down. Check, check, work, work. Here's the screen to the wideout. And he's tackled at the 47 yard line. Down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. By 40, by 40. They hook up over the middle. And for Stanley, he's got 100 yards now. You know, Brad, this guy continues to make plays. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath, and I'd put a safety over top of him. Put two defenders on him to try to slow him down, because right now, one-on-one -on -one coverage, he is destroying. From the 28-yard line, first down. Colorado, up seven points. Pressure coming, and he might want it all here, and does! Touchdown, Colorado! This offense just had so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he adds.
adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Nice run there. Gets to about the 37 yard line. With the run. Gain of two yards. That makes it first and ten. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 35. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's hit immediately. Fires it quickly. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Seven. Rush it, rush it. He's, he's, he's. he's got it out to his tight end. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. You know, they're going to have a big decision when they line up for the kickoff. Onside or kick it away and try to get a quick three and out. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nixon fields it at the one. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, 
And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Nice run, and he's brought down. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. No, gains about five yards on the run. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He'll get it again. And they push him out at the 35. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. On the ground with a tailback. Nice run to the outside. Set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The Buffaloes coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Well, that does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.